On today's installment of Weekend Wake Shop, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play an original Rip Roaring Country Lick that's going to have you guys stepping into 2019 a little less city -fied. Hey there kids and welcome to this week's installment of Weekend Wank Shop with your good buddy, Uncle Ben, where all the licks are made up and none of the points matter. And to all my British viewers out there, yes, I do know the meaning of the word wank. On today's installment of Weekend Wank Shop, I'm going to be showing you guys a lick I made up in the key of A that can be played over like an A dominant, you know, A7 kind of chord that will hopefully demonstrate to you guys some of the harmonic ideas that we go for whenever we're trying to conjure up some of these twangy sounds. Hopefully it'll give you some ideas of what you can do with your own licks. But before we get into it, let's hear it again at Step Dead Speed. And as always, you guys can find full tabs for this week's lesson over on my Instagram page at Ben Elder Guitar. Search for hashtag Weekend Wank Shop 212. Find the tab, learn how to play the lick, and upload a video of yourself shredding through it, along with the hashtag Weekend Wank Shop. Country licks are made to be played over certain chords, you know? It's not like learning rock lick in E minor that will work over any Metallica riff that's in E minor. It's not really like that. Country guys are always thinking about the chord that's being played and what they can say to it and add to it harmonically. So keep that in mind as you go through this. This is something that's made to be played over a specific chord. And hopefully you can take some of the ideas that we're going to talk about and add them to your own chicken fried licks. So to start off here, we're going to play the 8 on the high E string, hammering to 9 followed by the 10th fret B. That right there is country playing in a nutshell. It's a root note, in this case A, being played with its minor third, C, and its major third right next to it, the C sharp note. That sound of minor third, major third, root is integral to country playing. That's how you get that twang that you're looking for. So right off the bat, that's an important thing to notice about this lick. Okay, so after you play that, you're gonna play the seven on the B, which relative to A would be like your, your 13, which is a really cool sound, or your six, whatever you wanna call it. Play the nine on the G. Again, that's your E note, that's your five of an A chord, really important chord note. Go back and play the 10 on the B, back to that nine G, seven B again. Okay, so now you have this. Play it one more time. Then we get to this run. Okay, so on the G here, we're gonna play just almost straight chromatic here. We're gonna play nine, eight, seven, which is your fifth, flat fifth, and fourth. And then, guess what? It's that minor third hammering to major third again. Like I said, this is critical in the country sound. Okay, so now we have this. One more time. And then what we're gonna do after this is we're gonna play that seventh fret D string, which again is our root, that's A. There's that sound of minor major root, really important. Do a pull off to the five, that's your flat seven, cool dominant chord sound. You're gonna play the A seven here, and then your D five. Okay, so let us through a lot of the lick here so far. Then we're gonna play this on the A here. We're gonna play seven, six, five, pulling to open. That open string is just basically there to give us an excuse to shift positions. Open strings are great for that kind of thing. Brad Paisley does that all the time, where he'll throw an open string into a lick just so he can move positions quickly, you know? Now you might notice as we play that seven, six, and five, that might remind some of you guys of like the blues scale. Because it has those intervals of fifth, flat, fifth, fourth. And that's exactly what a lot of country stuff does. It uses elements of the blues scale plus that major third. Okay, so that was our line on the A here. We got seven, six, five open. Then we're gonna play this little double stop lick. That's a lick Andy Wood showed me a long time ago that I use way too much. What I'm doing here is I'm playing A and D on five. And then we gotta play the low E string here on five. Again, there's my root note A. And then play this move. 
it feels like a C power chord. So I've got my uh, third fret A, fifth fret D. And then notice I'm just sliding the root note up, because again, that's minor third to major third, right there. And then play your root, which is your five on the E string. Okay, play the move again slow. Just like that. And then the chord I ended on, it's kind of like an A13 sort of sound. I got my open A, 5D, 6G, 7B, 5E. I love that sound. So the whole, all together is going to be... Now picking wise, you could do this a variety of different ways. Um, if you've been watching my right hand, you'll notice that I'm using kind of a combination of picking and hybrid picking here, using my middle finger mostly, my middle and ring for the, the double stop part right there. And before I started this video, I was thinking like, what am I doing there picking wise? How can I explain this? And basically what I kind of came up with, the way that I'm doing it is that after my pick leaves a string, it never goes back to it. Okay, so in other words, like I start off with the high E string, that's a pick stroke. I've got these two uh, strokes on the B string, and then my pick hits the G. So in other words, now that I'm on the G string with the pick, I'm never going to go back to the B string. So that's when I use my middle finger to hybrid pick. Then I'm going to pick all the way down the G string right here. And then I'm on the D string, right? So that means I'm never going back. So if I was to hit another high note, I would hybrid pick it instead. It's basically just to keep your pick from backtracking, you know? So I'll try to play this slow and watch the picking as I go through here. I'm on the E, the B, the G, the D, the A, A. So like I said, it's like the, the pick is just going through the strings one at a time from E to B to G to D to A to E and it's never backtracking. So if there's a note that happens on an adjacent string, an adjacent higher string, hybrid pick it if you want to play it exactly like I am. So the thing I really want you to take from this lesson is that it's a combination of a lot of those blue scale kind of elements, like having your, your root and your minor third and your fourth and your flat fifth and your fifth and your flat seventh, combined with that little lilt of minor third to major third. That's really what you want to shoot for if you're looking to make your stuff sound country. Now there's obviously a lot more to it than just that right there, especially when you get into guys with really great phrasing like Brent Mason uh, and Brad Paisley and guys like that. But if you're like me, you're you know mainly a rock guy at heart, but you've always just loved the sound of that kind of stuff, you can start off just by taking your regular old blues scale, identifying where the minor thirds are, and just adding in a little hammer on or a slide up to major third. See, there's two of them. And that'll get you sounding a little bit more redneck in no time. You guys be sure to follow me on Instagram at Ben Eller Guitars or over on my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash Uncle Ben Eller. And if you're interested in booking some one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons with me, be sure to drop me an email. Ben Eller Guitars at gmail.com. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks a lot for watching. Now get away from this damn internet machine and go play some guitar. Less clicking, more picking.